came down. It's so cute. Here's our Airbnb. It's the guest bathroom. And as you walk in, it's lovely kitchen island, gas stove. And then you have this big entertainment area, basically. But this wide open window. Anna said it's better than we deserve. <laughs> the bed. And then in here we have ginormous shower. Nice. Yeah. We're, we are right at the top of this hill. And I'm pretty sure I died driving up here. <laughs> I'm I also 100% sick now. I woke up with it. With it. Let me cough! Oh, why do you your car top? What's your grasp on? At least your nails look nice. Oh, thanks, man. Oh my god, that was way too easy. She's gone home, she's exhausted. I'm so, so excited that my friend could meet Anna. It's like my two worlds collided. I never thought that would happen and it was really cool. They really liked each other and we'll be meeting again later in the week. For now, we're gonna wind down, have a peaceful evening and then get on with the adventures tomorrow. My voice is gone um, and I sound like I smoke a pack of cigarettes a day but we are going out for breakfast now at Naked Coffee it's a new place a few of the places that I remember are not open anymore which I guess we can just blame on the pandemic and then after that we're gonna go for a walk on the promenade go some groceries get some groceries for our Airbnb and get ready for my brother to come through and then what else is on our agenda today Ah, oh, right, we're gonna meet a friend for dinner, but that's only in the evening. And maybe we'll bother Courtney while she's working, like take her lunch or something, or just see her play. Are you ready for your first day on the town? So, so ready. <laughs> oh my God. Made it to the great outdoors. Anna's experiencing the ocean. There are no oceans in Minnesota, are there? No. Lakes. <laughs> Lakes, it's not the same. We have not seen a dog that'll make Anna stop and greet them, but I, ha I have hope. Maybe we should come back around sunset. Yeah, buddy. More dogs, more people too. Yeah. <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> Iowa. Oh, the Mississippi River, maybe. <laughs> Anna being floored by daily geography, part four. Let's do a recap of today. 
Today we started off with breakfast at Naked Coffee, Naked Cafe, I don't know, Naked something. Um, and had pretty good breakfast there, I liked it. Did you like your breakfast? Yes. Okay. Then Except for the ginger. There was ginger in a tuna salad. She is full of shit. Um, then after that we went for a walk on the promenade. We had a very nice time trying to find our car again. After that we walked several blocks and bends and found it per chance. And then we drove along the coastline of Sea Point and Point Bantry Bay, like all the way around to Camps Bay and then we went up the mountain over down to Cliff Street. Once we were there we found some parking. because uh, it's a vintage store that we wanted to go. Oh no, we actually drove all the way down to Woodstock. We didn't stop immediately and then we turned around once we were in Woodstock and came back to Cliff Street so that we could go find this vintage store. Uh, it ended up not being very nice, there were really good things in there. Um, and not, it smelled weird, like old clothing. Um, but there were some killer boots in there that was quite, quite interesting. Um, then from there we went to... Who we go next? We left our car there and we walked. We walked a bit and then we decided, no, we should probably drive closer to our destination. Oh, we went to the bookstore. Yeah, and as we were walking to find our car, we found this really old bookstore that's probably been there for years. Um, and it's got floor to ceiling, like bookcases and these incredible stories. Like all the bottom floor is all South African books. And then <clears throat> if you go up the stairs, you find a bunch of international works and stuff. And they have like out of print in this one room that's not being printed anymore. And they, they let you in if you ask. Um, whatever was on the second floor was making me cough incredibly. So I went back to the first floor and Anna stayed where she was. Um, then from there we walked, we moved the car closer to the cafe we wanted to go to and we had some coffee there. We're going back tomorrow night. Yeah, now we're back for a quiet evening in because tomorrow is going to be so busy. So we'll probably order some food and watch some movies and then yeah, tomorrow the games begin. Good morning, this gremlin has showed up and we're ready for our day. There has been some drama in the morning and last night, but I'll get into that later. If you don't know, penguins smell very bad. This entire area is a nesting area that smells disgusting. And Anna is on a journey at the back there.
say. <laughs> this is what I see. This is my perspective. This is What's what up? I see. <laughs> what is this bullshit? Cash at the store. Get into it like someone's water, water. 
really large object. <laughs> They're all going in your room. Our last morning, our eyes doing full drag, and she's sick of me. The whole prepared to be sick, sick of me, just sick. just sick, not sick of me. Yeah, yeah. I've got an illegal cat in Anna's room. <coughs> who's cuddled Anna before, and my dad's making breakfast. Picasso. Picasso. Say Picasso.
Yeah, it's Chris Catherine. 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 Yeah,